Greetings, dear parishioners and friends of St. Teresa. As many of you know, this year has been one of transition and growth. We have bid farewell to Father Phil Lloyd, a beloved pastor of 18 years, and I have been blessed to step into the role as a new pastor of St. Teresa, and I have been warmly welcomed by this faith-filled community. This growth we are experiencing, both in spirit and in numbers, is a testament to the life and vitality of our parish. Today, I invite you to join me in reflecting on the words of St. Paul to the Colossians, to live in a manner worthy of the Lord, bearing fruit and growing in the knowledge of God. This scripture passage captures the essence of our mission here at St. Teresa. St. Paul's letter to the Colossians speaks to the heart of stewardship at St. Teresa. Our mission is not just to sustain, but to grow, both in our knowledge of God and in the fruits of our labor. We are a vibrant and dynamic parish, rich in tradition, yet open to the new challenges and opportunities that come with growth. Each week, new families join us, and our parish school is thriving with over 380 students. This growth is a blessing, but with it comes a greater responsibility to support the ministries, sacraments, and community services that define who we are as a parish. We've been parishioners of St. Teresa for 60 years. I was involved in some of the activities around St. Teresa's, including the Knights of Columbus. Dorothy and I were chairpersons of St. Teresa's school and church auctions. Dorothy served as a school mother and a Eucharistic minister and three terms on the parish council. And after my retirement, I served 18 months as a full-time volunteer parish administrator. Father Vincent came here as a seminarian and I got to know him very well. We worked with him and I was just so excited when he became our parish pastor. My involvement in a capital campaign was many years ago when we had proposed enlarging the gym, which is now the fellowship hall. We believe, as we have grown, that there are many ministries that our parish family can join and participate in that will heighten their faith and our parish. My advice to our current parishioners is that they get involved like we did, and that is share their time, their talents in some of the ministries we have, and certainly to share their treasures so we can continue the ministries that we have. For our long-term parishioners, St. Teresa Church is more than just a place of worship. It's a cornerstone of their lives, a constant in times of change. Their commitment to supporting the parish has helped build a strong foundation that allows St. Teresa Church to continue flourishing. Their faith, dedication, and generosity have sown the seeds that have allowed our community to grow and thrive. When we first started coming, we were actually in the gym. So you'd think, why would you want to come back to worship in a gym? But during that time, we just noticed the sense of community, all the young families. And as newly engaged couple, we wanted to make sure that we were starting somewhere where we could see people in the same walks of life, where we could see a future with having children, which we've now been blessed with. We were also here during COVID. And I thought it was very great how safety protocols were definitely in place. I actually got confirmed during that time. We are both from Mississippi, so we don't have a lot of family around. So having people that we can kind of call on and just be there as friends to ask questions, really anything has been very impactful. Another rewarding experience has been some of the church groups that we've been a part of. One was the Alpha Group, which was mostly young adults and getting to hear from different experiences and perspectives was very interesting. And also the teams of Our Lady made up of married couples, some newly married and some that have been married for much longer than us. It allows us to go ahead and allocate time devoted towards it's our spirituality and it's it's really helped our marriage it's it's given us some insight from some of those older couples that have been married for a while of things maybe that will come up down the road and how to prepare for them and thinking about our hope for the future of saint Teresa, it's the role of all the parishioners and the body of christ to make sure that we are instilling in our youth the faith and they can always lean on that when times are hard and just to grow from there for young families, St. Teresa is a place where faith is nurtured and values are passed down to the next generation. The parish offers a supportive environment where children can grow in their faith and parents can find guidance and community. The decision to give back reflects their understanding that the vibrant life they experience here is made possible through the collective generosity of all parishioners. I started coming to St. Teresa's a little over a year ago. Soon after I joined the, the parish, 
I became involved in the young adult group. I really met a strong group of friends. It's been a good foundation of peers to help me grow in my faith and continue my journey towards a deeper relationship with God. Father Vincent was so welcoming and very open to talk to you about anything. So I think that's really helped me and feel very supported by the church. I think it's important to be involved in the community. It has provided me a good foundation of a purpose in my life, a faith-based purpose. At least once a month, we do service events where we volunteer with the community to support their mission and helping the people in Houston. I feel like it's strengthened a lot of other areas of my life, such as my work performance, my relationships with my friends and family. The more that people contribute their time and their resources to the church, the community becomes stronger. New parishioners bring fresh energy and perspectives to our community, further enriching the life of St. Teresa Church. Their contributions, inspired by the warmth and inclusivity they have found here, help ensure that our parish remains a light of faith and hope for all who seek a spiritual home. Together, we continue the legacy of generosity and service that has defined St. Teresa Church for generations. I have been involved in parishes across the Archdiocese in different ways, in music, in liturgy. But St. Teresa really touched me personally. In 2022, I was placed with three foster children early in the year, and I would not have been able to get through that experience without the support of this community. The choir, the media ministry, the parish staff, and even people that I didn't even know who I still have not met to this day, were buying things and doing everything that they could possibly do to support me as I supported these three children in their time of need. It is about community. It is about what happens here in the liturgy that informs what this community does to serve others. We come to Mass to encounter Christ in word and sacrament, and we go forth having been transformed by receiving Christ to serve others. And I see that more here than I ever have in any parish that I have been with. We are very blessed to be in a parish where we have had generations supporting the parish to get to the point where it is today. But we have a responsibility to support this parish and continue to grow it for future generations. We've seen our music ministry grow exponentially. I have the opportunity to serve our community both in the highest and lowest times of their lives. Thank you so much for your past support. I hope that you will continue to build this community and serve those around us. I have been a member of St. Teresa's for 23 years. My husband had Alzheimer's. There is a group that meets regarding loved ones with Alzheimer's. So it helped me to realize that the things where I felt I was failing, it was a part of the caregiving process. And I took care of him for the final two and a half years. When my husband passed away, having his funeral mass here made me feel cared for and brought a sense of closure for my husband's death. I reached out to the bereavement group where it is going to help me with the grieving, but I do not want to return to the point of just wanting to isolate and be alone because you shouldn't do that. We have people that care for us and love us. There's just so many different ministries here. There has to be one that will be appealing to you. During my time here at St. Teresa's, the community has changed dramatically. Some of the older people are going to need help from those that are new in the parish to take on some of the responsibilities of serving in the ministries because it is not only you're supporting people, but you're also growing spiritually. As we reflect on the blessings of this past year and look forward to the future, we are reminded of St. Paul's words, to live in a manner worthy of the Lord. This means continuing to bear fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, and responding to His goodness with our own generosity. Your tithing is more than a financial contribution. It's a spiritual investment in the mission of our church. Together we can ensure that St. Teresa continues to be a place of welcome, growth, and service for all. We moved to 
Rice Military in 2003 and became part of the Santa Teresa Church. We met Father Vincent when he still was in the seminary and we began to have contact with him and we accompanied him in all his seminary studies and accompanied him when he was ordained as a priest. He helped with the Baptist of Liliana 17 years ago, and then with Macy 15 years ago. We had had many beautiful experiences in Santa Teresa, but the one that I remember more is when meeting with young people that I was going to get married. During the meeting, they had many young couples asking questions regarding marriage or the difficulties that they had. One question that is really got in our minds, being physicians, it was the problem of fertility. We talked to them about our own experience and how we were able to start our family. Santa Teresa has grown. It surprised me to see how many young couples come to church every Sunday. And I believe knowing uh, Father Vince uh, that he will be an excellent conductor of this symphony that we are going to play. And I hope we all contribute to that. I've been coming to St. Teresa for almost 20 years now. My kids were both baptized here, and my husband was actually baptized this year on Easter. At the end of that process of RCIA and going through the Easter vigil, it was the most beautiful service that I've ever been a part of because it was just really inspirational. I really felt the blanket of love and acceptance and just holiness from God upon me. But the reality is that it wasn't the end, it was the beginning of a new spiritual journey for me. We did the marriage prep weekend here at St. Teresa. What was really special is it helped us have a very open and truthful conversation about things that maybe we wouldn't have tackled if we hadn't been asked those questions, like childhood education, how we want to raise our kids, how we're going to do finances. It was very practical and spiritual at the same time. We have a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old. Our four year old Alexander just started pre-K four. It's his second year at St. Teresa. And it's really been amazing to see kind of the growth in faith and love for God. He now loves leading Mealtime Grace. He'll correct us if we don't say grace before eating. And Leo, our two-year-old, loves holding hands and saying amen at the top of his lungs. We feel like it's really important to continue to support the church because we're the beneficiaries of the ones who came before us at St. Teresa's and today benefit from their investment of time, of money, of love into building such a wonderful community and we want to continue to build a community for future generations so that our kids also have a place where they can come and feel home. Thank you for your continued generosity and for the love you show to our parish. Your contributions are the seeds that will bear fruit for generations to come. As your pastor, I ask that you prayerfully consider increasing your support if you can so that we may continue to grow in faith and service together. May the Lord bless you and your family abundantly. And may St. Teresa always guide us in our mission. St. Teresa, pray for us.